What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is vlog number, wait for it, drum roll please, 100. That's right guys, I've done 100 of these vlogs and I really appreciate all the love and support all of you guys have shown, the subscribes, the likes, the comments, the community that we've built on YouTube, I really appreciate it. And today I had to bring you guys something super special. I know I use that word a lot, but today's villa is worth 200 million dirhams. Guys, this is in Palm Jumeirah on the Billionaire's Row with some of the most stunning views of the Royal Atlantis and the beach. And I hope you guys enjoy the tour. And like every time, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the rest of the tour. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and guys, this is vlog number 100. So it's a very special vlog for me and for that reason, I've brought you guys a very, very special property guys. This is not just any property. This is a masterpiece. We are in the heart of Palm Jumeirah on one of the most exclusive fronds, which is Frond H. The reason I call this very exclusive is because it's the last frond on the right hand side of the Palm Jumeirah. And like I said, there's very few villas over here, which makes this front super exclusive. And they're all custom builds. So if you look at this house from the facade outside, you can appreciate the modern architectural design. There's this honed travertine facade outside mixed with the white, gives it a very, very soft tone. And it's very unique. This house is built on a 16,500 square feet plot, which is one of the largest plots that you can get in Palm Jumeirah. And it has a basement, a ground floor, a first floor, and a second floor, with a total built up of 23,745 square feet, which is once again, one of the largest properties you can buy in one of the most exclusive areas of Dubai. So guys, let me take you inside. So just as we enter into this house through this oversized pivot door, we are greeted by this triple height entry foyer, which is beautiful because on one side, we have this amazing woodwork. We have a beautiful chandelier above us. We have the floating staircase on my left with this travertine wall. So before we get started with the tour, let me explain to you guys the floor plan of this house. We are currently on the ground floor. Over here, we have three bedrooms on my right hand side. On my left, we have the dining area and the office. On the first floor, we have three bedrooms on one wing of the house and another two bedrooms on the other wing. And then on the second floor, we have this stunning penthouse suite, which is your ninth bedroom with a separate lounge in itself. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. In the basement, we have our gym. We have a crazy cinema room, plus, plus, plus all your other amenities. So we have multiple seating areas over here on this side. All the furniture is by Bentley Home and Fendi. The owner loves her brands and she has really picked out some of the nicest furniture pieces throughout this house. Like I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of sunlight coming over here, beautiful views to enjoy. On this side, we have another seating area. The furniture here is by Roberto Cavalli. This is a lot more funkier, adds a lot more color and style into this section of the house. If we move on this side, we have separate dining areas. This is an eight-seater smaller dining table. It is often used as a spot for the owner to have her meetings and enjoy a quiet time with the family. Or if you're entertaining more people, we have a 20-seating dining table over here, all by Fendi Home. And I love this chandelier right in the center. I mean, just imagine guys, having a dinner party over here with your family, overlooking these views of the sea, it is just absolutely stunning. 
I love the floor plan of this house as well because you can like get out of the house from multiple areas. So if you have a party, you can actually have your guests entering from here, from there, exit from multiple places and lots of glass. Once again, this entire wall is a sliding door that can open up and we can walk towards the outdoor dining area. So now let's move towards the other side of the house. Oh, by the way, I really like this area as well. If you guys love chess, imagine sitting over here with your chess rival, once again, enjoying the views and playing a nice game of chess. So on the ground floor, like I mentioned earlier, we have three bedrooms on the right wing of the house. And over here, we have the main office. It is a really cool office. It's actually a pretty big size. We have four different tables over here. I like the center meeting table because it has the coolest chairs ever, guys. The furniture here is by Fendi and, as you guys can see, Bugatti. Guys, I mean, just look at this chair. Just You have to appreciate the furniture over here. This is all carbon fiber with Bugatti orange leather. I mean, this is not just any regular furniture. You can't even get this off the store, guys. This is super special. If you see the same Bugatti chair is over here. Once again, we have the black carbon fiber lining plus the orange leather and of course the Bugatti logo. This is a very cool office. We have a massage chair over here as well. There's a lot of personal items of the owner. So all I can say is you can really use this to have all your billion dollar meetings in your house. So coming out of the office, we have the powder room here on my left, which is the guest toilet after. As you can see, it's a very nice size. I love the travertine marble that's used. Very modern, contemporary, minimalistic is the word I need to use for this powder room. Um, and let's finally take you guys onto the next section of the ground floor. I have to say sections because this house is so big. Over here we have an elevator, which is a really nice elevator because it's panoramic and you can see through towards the sea. We'll take the elevator later. But first, let me show you guys the ground floor bedrooms. This is the first of the three guest suites we have on the ground floor. As you can see, they all are en suite. The furniture over here is very interesting. It's from Versace Homes. The carpet as well is by Versace. It's an amazing size. The bed is by Visionaire. The wallpaper here is by Versace as well. Now let me show you guys the second guest suite on the ground floor. The second guest suite is done in a very cozy style. The carpet is by Versace. As you can see the Versace head over here. The wallpaper is by Versace as well. And it continues into the ceiling as well. Everything is by Versace. So now that we're leaving the Versace bedroom, we're gonna enter into the Roberto Cavalli bedroom and this, Follow me guys, is my favorite guest suite. First of all, all your furniture here is by Roberto Cavalli. If you look at the details, all of the leather, we have the Cavalli design elements over here. Even the bedside table is all Cavalli. Even your bed sheets are by Cavalli and that's why I call this the Cavalli bedroom. And what I love most about this bedroom is that your guest is gonna get up from here and the first thing they're gonna take in are these stunning views of the beach, the sun shining over the water. I mean, guys, this is exclusivity at its best. So now that you guys have seen the ground floor of this house, it's time to take you guys upstairs to the first floor where we have our other five bedrooms. So follow me. Just as you come up, we have this amazing bridge that connects the two wings of the first floor. On one wing, we have the three bedrooms and on the other wing, we have the other two bedrooms. And I love the fact that we have glass all around so it allows a lot more sunlight to enter. As you can see, the sun's going down on that side. And over here, we get to enjoy the views from literally wherever you are on this property. So just as you come up over here, this is what I like to call the Fendi bedroom. All our furniture is by Fendi, from the wallpapers to even the side tables, the bed, the carpet, everything is done by Fendi. And I mentioned this earlier, the owner loves her brands. A lot of sunlight entering into this room, so very, very bright. We have our closets on one side, and of course, ensuite bathroom as well. 
This is our second bedroom upstairs. And soon you guys are gonna have a tough time keeping up with the number of bedrooms in this house. This bedroom is by Versace Home. We have our bangle lifts and TV over here, our wardrobes on either side. And of course, the bedroom is en suite with its own bathroom. So this is the third bedroom on the left wing of the house. And this is my favorite room because I love the furniture being used over here. Once again, everything is by Fendi Casa from the bed to the bedside table to the lamps. And like the bedroom downstairs, this bedroom also has the stunning view of the beach and the sea. And because you're on a higher elevation, you get to enjoy the views a lot more. Amazing size, love the travertine floors that the owner has used throughout the house. All your TVs in the house are by Bangalifson. So now that we've seen the left wing of the house, it's time to take you guys to the other side, which is really cool because you have this huge door. There are actually two bedrooms on the right wing, which is your master bedroom, and it comes with its own lounge and its own second bedroom, which is really cool. We'll start with the smaller bedroom upstairs, which is part of what I'd like to call the master bedroom enclave. And I love the positioning of this bed. It's a Versace custom bed with its bedside table. We have a really nice dressing table over here overlooking outside. Lots of light coming in because you have windows on either side of the bed, which is kind of unique. Lots of closet space and your own bathroom. So now guys, let me finally take you guys inside the main master suite on this floor. Just as you enter, we have a walk-in closet on my right and the bathroom and the main bedroom right over here. I mean, look at the space. This is one of the largest bedrooms in the house. Love the furniture style. It's by Roberto Cavalli. We have different pieces from everywhere. We have another two lounge sofas by Roberto Cavalli. And just as you get up over here, you enjoy the stunning view of the Royal Atlantis right in front of you. It's a massive room. We have a balcony right behind the door. We have glass windows all around, so it allows a lot more sunlight to enter into the room. It's time to take you guys upstairs. Before we go there, there's a little bit of a nook that I just discovered in this house, which is this massage room. This is a really cool area. We have a chair over here that could be used like a salon chair. We have a massage bed over here, and we have a toilet on this side. I love it. It's like a little spa right outside your bedroom, inside your house. up over here on the second floor of this house which is actually my favorite floor in this house because it's literally like a penthouse suite over here we have a really amazing entertainment lounge the reason why i call this the entertainment lounge is because we have this amazing playstation tv up over here this is a great place to bring guests soak in the views because from this height we have literally glass windows on three sides of this lounge. We have a travertine wall. We have amazing sofas and lounges. The windows all open up to give a perfect indoor-outdoor feel. And it's just absolutely stunning. So we are finally here in the ninth bedroom of this house, which is, like I said, my favorite room because it's the only room on this floor. You have glass all around on one side, glass on the other, and even above the bed, you have views towards the sea and the beach. You have a lot of entertainment area over here. You can wake up, enjoy a nice little show on TV. You have Roberto Cavalli furniture all around, Roberto Cavalli wallpapers. And just imagine the lifestyle, guys. You literally wake up from bed and you walk out into your balcony. Over here, you soak in the views of the sea, the beach, the Royal Atlantis right outside. You enjoy your breakfast on this sofa right over here, once again, enjoying the views. Then you can come over here. We have another sitting loungers over here where you could enjoy your coffee. When you're entertaining friends, you have this entire section and you can open up these glass windows so you have a perfect indoor, outdoor entertainment area. And around the side, while you're still enjoying these lovely views of the sea, we have another nice lounge area that leads you back towards the corridor and onto the other balcony on the other side of the house as well. I am just imagining entertaining friends, family, throwing a party in this house. It is perfect for entertainment, guys. And this is not just all. We've just covered the ground, the first and the second floor. We still have to go check out the basement and the outdoors. So guys, we don't have enough time before it's sunset, so follow me. 
So we're finally here in the basement of the house and there's a lot in this basement as well. Uh, just as you come out of the elevator, we have the staircase that leads down as well. We have an outdoor seating area as well, which I'll show you in a bit. But through this door, we have the entertainment area of the basement. Here we have this pool table and we have a foosball table over here as well. We have an access towards the main kitchen of the house, which has all restaurant grade equipment. And through this section over here, we enter into the wellness area of the basement. The reason I call this a wellness area is that it's not just a gym. I mean, we have every equipment from techno gym, life fitness, the best of the best. And over here, we have an ice bath, we have a sauna, and we have a steam room. I mean, there's not a lot of houses that have all of these features. And that's just not it, guys, in the basement. Through this door over here, we enter into the cinema. Check this out, guys. I mean, this has got to be one of the nicest cinema rooms inside of a house. I mean, just kick back, relax over here. We have this huge lounge seating area. Enjoy a nice little movie with your friends and family. So now let me show you guys the other side of the basement. Over here, we have a really cool sunken open lounge. Nice little sofa area, which is very private, allows sunlight to enter. And over here, we have a really cool private little bar, which the owner has set up with the best selection of spirits, complete with a cigar lounge inside as well. And from here, we have the staircase that leads us back towards the main garden pool and the beach. So now that you guys have seen pretty much most of the 24,000 square feet in this house, it's finally time to take you guys outdoors to my favorite part of any house and definitely the favorite part of this house, which is the outdoor. So just as you come out into the garden, we have our access to the basement. Right in front, we have this amazing 17 meter long infinity edge swimming pool. On one side, we have the eight tanning beds, which is amazing because it gives you that beachy vibe. Over here, we have an amazing entertainment area with sofas and a fireplace right in the center. I love the fact that it's the same travertine that's being used throughout the house. And on the far end, we have a 12-seater dining table, which allows you to enjoy outdoors with your friends, especially in the weather that we have in Dubai's winters. From here, we have the access down into the beach. And from here, you have to actually really enjoy the fact that you, you know, have this amazing beach lifestyle over here. Just look at the view of the house. I mean, this house just looks absolutely stunning. We have to enjoy the architecture of this house from outside, the lighting, the night feel. Uh, the water over here is actually much nicer than any of the other fronts of Mount Jumeirah because the front actually ends right over there. So you have the open sea after this. And I'm just waiting for the lights of the Royal Atlantis to come on because this looks absolutely stunning. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour of this stunning mansion in Palm Jumeirah as much as I enjoyed showing it. And once again, guys, thank you so much for all of your love and support on the channel. The fact that I've reached my 100th property vlog is all thanks to all of you guys liking my videos, subscribing to my channel, showing all of your support through your comments. And I hope that I keep bringing you these amazing property tours in Dubai. And thank you guys and until next time. <laughs>